We remember when he used to be such a nice boy. What do you think this is, Gabe? What makes people evil? Hey, accidents will happen. Macaulay Culkin, the good son. Better put the kids to bed for this one. You're not just asking me to score for you, you're asking something else. What am I asking? You're asking how much I'll do for you. Well, I won't tell you I've been straight, I haven't. But I need Bobby. I mean, we need each other. <laughs> I was the Babe Ruth of West 81st Street. <laughs> huh? I'm the greatest! Maybe you wouldn't call that love. But then... Maybe you don't know any more than anybody else knows about love. God help Bobby and Helen. They're in love in Needle Park. We all want to love. You need someone, someone very special. Someone who won't press charges. Lord, what's that? And to be loved. Fester Adams, I love you. And what's more loving than a happy family? Would you die for me? Yes! Adam's Family Values. History will be made under this roof over the next few days. Why, Mr. Stevens? Why do you always have to hide what you feel? Emma Thompson. I was just being very foolish. Anthony Hopkins. I simply haven't time to stand here with you engaging in idle talk, Miss Kenton. Hugh Grant and Christopher Reeve, The Remains of the Day. We brought you aliens, vampires, poltergeists, and serial killers, but nothing quite like Dennis. He's a menace. Dennis the Menace. comedian. That's my job. Jobs are funny. There are no hard, fast rules on making it to the top, but a pretty good rule of thumb is if you make it to age 35 and your job still involves wearing a name tag, you've probably made a serious vocational error somewhere along the line. Uh... Well, there's no more may I take your order in Dennis Miller's career. He's on top with his own Emmy Award winning HBO series, Dennis Miller Live. And now he's back to celebrate HBO's 20 years in comedy with a whole new season of mental comedy aerobics like only Dennis Miller can do. My guest tonight is a very funny man. He is also the Bob Vila of Neurosis, Gary Shadlin. Now, I brought a list of your references with me, so I hope I can follow you along. What was that tater thing you said in the monologue? I... Tater seller. Tater seller. That means that's like the lowest rung on the food that chain. That was funny. So... All right. There was a... I love you. I don't know. I don't always understand you, but I love you because of the because of the, the warmth. And it's, it's how warm. he expresses that warmth which makes Dennis Miller so unique. The simple fact is, folks, this stuff. Why uh, can't I talk? See, when I'm trying to be sincere, I get choked up. <laughs> My deepest sentiments are always on prompter. <laughs> You know what, but I want to come up trepidatious. I'm selling humble this time through. Okay. <laughs> humble? 
All right, then. Since we have you where we want you, Dennis, tell us exactly what it means for a comedian to get an HBO special. I guess I did my first HBO special maybe six, seven years ago, and it changed my life. I mean, uh, uh, people only knew me on Saturday Night Live, where you're a smartass in snippets, and they don't know if you have any thing more to say so mr miller goes to washington it was called well nice to be here nice to be back east i've been out in los angeles la the only city in the world where people list cat scans as film credits on their resume hi uh you know i did a little clothes shopping today over here at the kmart i think when i say kmart we're all hip to the fact that i'm talking style central picked up a couple short sleeve suits and uh little Century 21 blazer for the holidays, you know. You're on HBO and you've seen Robin Williams here for an hour. You've seen Stephen Wright. You've seen the geniuses of their generation. And all of a sudden you're on the same thing. It amps up your confidence. And I think you come off it a much better comedian. Because I remember I had titanium balls after I did my first special. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the king of pop references, Dennis Miller. By the way, Mike and George Hamilton have now officially crossed lines on the pigmentation axis. Uh, you just don't get there unless you're pretty good. You know what it's become? It used to be Carson gave you the couch. Now it's HBO gives you the hour. And now, HBO gives Dennis Miller the couch with his own guest lineup of very familiar faces. It was the freedom granted and Dennis Miller's irreverence that made a perfect mix for his series. Line three, we've got Howard from Gunter, Texas. Hey guys, um, I just want to say that where celebrities are concerned at least, a lot of people like to see them fail because these people grow up wanting to be famous and once they become famous they seem to act like some type of royalty who doesn't have time for Assholes, they act like assholes. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't have time for autograph secrets or anything. Never like you. Not, not Never you. Man. Not this man. But, Never uh, you. Not this man. Think, Never you. Not this man. I, I think that they need a little Cut bit less arrogance. Gunter. <laughs> You've, you've, you've you mistaken know. us for a show that gives a shit. Yeah. I get to make bread and do exactly what I like to do. I should walk through and say, an Attica, 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 Attica! And then after I go off, the screen should go black, and in white letters it should say, April 7th, feel the indignation. <laughs> I'm genuinely thankful. I get to be a comedian. I can't tell you how lucky that is. What a gig. And uh, quite frankly, HBO helped, helped us all do it. Dennis Miller, it's the feel pissed off hit of the summer. Take five. Let's make tape five a, a saucy one. You're simply the best! <laughs> That's what folks, that's the news, and I am out here. Help us celebrate another 20 years of comedy with a new season of Dennis Miller Live. Late night never had it so good. Fridays at midnight and Sunday after the movie. Hello, I'm Tracy Ullman, happily posing away in this window frame. Posing seductively, posing like Heather Locklear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that I'm going to be hosting the HBO Comedy Hour, Women of the Night 4. I'll be introducing six jolly talented girls. My mom is a ventriloquist, like she could throw her voice. So for 10 years, I thought the dog was telling me to kill my father. I fell down. I had a concussion. I stood up. I didn't know who I was or where I was. And it was the best I'd ever felt in my life, OK? A man came up to me one time and says, you know, I always see in the TV guide closed captions, but I never see anything on my TV. I said, that's because only deaf people can see it. I had the nicest boyfriend for a while. He used to call me cutie which was short for chronic urinary tract infection. <laughs> and, uh, get out. A 40-year-old woman has a better chance of getting kidnapped by a terrorist than getting married. <laughs> so I'm hanging out at the World Trade Center. <laughs> I go to bed at night, my hair is fine. I wake up in the morning, huge hair. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. It's kind of like my ass in a way, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. The HBO Comedy Hour, Women of the Night 4, hosted by Tracy Ullman. Premieres Saturday night at 10 on HBO. Comedy. It's an HBO thing. Who is Simon Wilder? He is. Cut it out. 
Mine eyes have seen. Joe Pesci is a bum. But bear in mind, I'm a Harvard bum. We found him home alone. Mm. But now he's cohabitating. He's wearing my robe. Oh, no. And it looks like everyone's in for an education. What do you see when you look at me? Brendan Fraser. Why did you say that I was a loser? Is this inside Macho Talk? Joe Pesci. You, sir. Oh, me? With honors. Premiere Saturday night at 8 on HBO. I expect you to clean the bathtub. Welcome to the first ever annual Raw Poker Championship. In our game, nobody plays with a full deck. I promise that I will lose for at least an hour. But with the queen of hearts and a pair of jokers, there's no telling what cards are wild. <laughs> Jody Foster, James Garner, and Mel Gibson as Maverick. Premiering Saturday, June 3rd on HBO. For the last 20 years, some of the funniest faces in the world of entertainment earned their comedy stripes on the HBO Young Comedian Specials. Here's a look back at a vintage clip from the HBO Video Vault. They're building a new mall down here. I know everyone's excited about it. I'm a little tired of malls. I don't know about you. Every mall is the same. Every mall has a piano store. I have never seen anybody in there buying one. <laughs> you go to the mall, you've got 20 bucks, 30 bucks, you get a book, pair of shoes. You ever see anybody go, hey, before we leave, let's get one of those pianos. <laughs> They're only a million dollars. Comedy. It's an HBO thing. HBO's got something extra to make your life easier. An extra channel of HBO. Now there's HBO and HBO2. That sounds very interesting. It's not more programs. It's just a lot easier to find what you're in the mood for. Say you felt like some comedy. HBO 2 might have just the ticket. While on HBO, it might be a family program. <laughs> Later on, maybe it's a series on HBO. Or if it's something explosive you want, perhaps it's action over on HBO 2. And tomorrow, find sports on HBO 2. Or if you're up for some gold digging, maybe it's a western on HBO. So let's go over that again. More channels, more options, whenever it's convenient for you. And isn't that the way it should be? <laughs> Just kidding. HBO and HBO2. Now that's getting the most out of your HBO. We're gonna cut to the chase. Climb into a fuel injected. Curve hugging. High performance vehicle. Starring Charlie Sheen. The hell of a ride, I can't. And Christy Swanson. You kidnap me with a candy bar? And don't look back. The chase. I love you. He fought for love. For honor. William Wallace will not be ruled. And for freedom. This one will fight forever. Action. Go behind the scenes with Mel Gibson on Braveheart. In the picture of the scope to actually be in front of the camera and behind the camera. It's ambitious. I must admit I've burned a few brain cells on it. This is going to be a picnic. The cavalry's behind you. Start running everywhere. Entourage, take off. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! HBO First Look presents Mel Gibson's Braveheart, a filmmaker's passion. We all want to love. You'll meet someone, someone very special. Someone who won't press charges. Lord, like that. And to be loved. Fester Adams, I love you. And what's more loving than a happy family? Would you die for me? <laughs> yes! Adams Family Values. History will be made under this roof over the next few days. Why, Mrs. Stevens? Why do you always have to hide what you feel? Emma Thompson. I was just being very foolish. Anthony Hopkins. I simply haven't time to stand here with you engaging in 
I don't talk, Miss Kenton. Hugh Grant and Christopher Reeve, The Remains of the Day. You're not just asking me to score for you, you're asking something else. What am I asking? You're asking how much I'll do for you. Well, I won't tell you I've been straight, I haven't. But I need Bobby. I mean, we need each other. I was the Babe Ruth of West 81st Street. <laughs> huh? I'm the greatest! Maybe you wouldn't call that love. But then, maybe you don't know any more than anybody else knows about love. God help Bobby and Helen. They're in love in Needle Park. We remember when he used to be such a nice boy. What do you think this is, Gabe? Well, what makes people evil? <laughs> hey, accidents will happen. Macaulay Culkin, the good son. Better put the kids to bed for this one. The following movie is rated R.